key palpatory findings of the foot and ankle are um, going to be shown here. And these are critical because the foot is truly a biomechanical structure and subsequently the symptoms are easily reproducible. The key findings are at the medial calcaneal tuberosity here, that is historically pain associated with uh, heel pain syndrome, which is an intrinsic tendinopathy. Pain associated in the center portion of the calcaneus is typically associated with fat pad atrophy. If this is true, then fat pad sequestration will resolve the symptom. Medial calcaneal tuberosity, if that is painful, then toe extension will resolve the symptom. Plantar fasciitis hurts in the medial band of the plantar fascia here. Palpation produces an increase in symptoms. Palpation with toe extension produces an increase in symptoms. Lastly, pain along the medial side of the heel. Uh, at this point, medial calcaneal tuberosity, this is slightly proximal and slightly distal. Palpation here producing pain or paresthesias into the digits is historically associated with uh, first branch of the lateral plantar nerve entrapment. That's on the medial side of the foot, but the first branch of the lateral plantar nerve. 